to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to share my top five disappointments of 2019 with you all. Um, I'm not a big fan of making like these types of videos, but I did want to just share with you like some of the books that I just was very disappointed by. So yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna dive right in. I only did five because luckily I didn't have like too bad of a reading year, so I didn't have a lot of disappointments but also these are the books that I still have so the first book that I was kind of pretty disappointed by was When Life Gives You Demons by Jennifer Honeyborn I just like did not like this story if you look at the cover you would think this would probably be like a funny weird weird contemporary or like a funny kind of weird fantasy ish story and that's kind of th what I thought it would be um but it wasn't all that funny um I thought the story was kind of ridiculous honestly I thought the main characters were a little on the weird side especially if I remember the male protagonist uh like that love interest I just found him really annoying because I feel like he had expectations that were just stupid if that makes sense like he like had lied to her about who he was and then he was upset that she got upset about that and I was just kind of like but why are you, like, why are you mad that you lied to her? Like, it was just a whole thing. I'm not a big fan of, like, when any of the, like, romantic ish interests, um, like, they make a mistake. And instead of owning up to it, they just kind of get mad at the main character for being upset about the mistake they made. And then I'm like, what? I, eh. And then, like, the char the main character is like, oh, you're right, I shouldn't be upset. And then I'm like, no, you just got manipulated so badly by this person. Like, you're allowed to feel whatever you feel, you're allowed to be upset kind of thing. That's a, that's the inner psychologist of me as well coming out. But, like, I just, I hate when that happens. And so this, it felt like this was kind of what happened in that, in this story. And I was just like, no, I was like, not a big fan. <laughs> I really need you to have a healthy relationship, <laughs> please. But yeah, so was not a big fan. Didn't really like the fantasy aspect of it, honestly. I thought it was kind of dumb, um, especially with like the exorcist part of it too. I was just like, mm, no. So definitely don't recommend this pretty disappointed so this isn't also this also is not a 2019 release I'll say that now um this was just an arc that I had for a while that I just that I finally <laughs> decided to read this year okay, the next book I have is and I'm so sorry for this because I know so many people love this trilogy but it was or series I can't remember um A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Caballero I tried reading this early this year and I just couldn't I'm so sorry. Uh, I DNF'd it halfway through. I think I only got like 50 pages in and then I was like, no. <laughs> or maybe it was 100. Hold on, where did I stop? 159 pages in and I just really did not like the story. I just, I was halfway through and I was like, I don't care. Like, and I felt so bad. <laughs> Cause I know some people like the story but I was just like I don't care what happens to Charlotte I don't care what happens to Jamie I don't care who's doing all this stuff in framing them they're not likable characters to me I'm not attached and this is boring I'm sorry but that's just how I felt and I was like maybe I'll pick it up and try again later but I'm not there yet so for right now this is just a big disappointment to me and I'm again I'm I'm sorry I'm not trying to trash your favorite book. I'm just trying to express my opinions. <laughs> the next disappointment I have is All We Could Have Been by T.E. Carter. I got this at BookCon. Um, not at BookCon, but BookCon Weekend at, at one of the bookstores. And I, I was super excited for this. I thought it would be super good. Um, it was about a girl whose brother was in jail for something. And it was kind of her coping with that. So I was like, ooh, this is going to be good. Like, a good story on healing and grief and all that kind of stuff. And it was just kind of dumb. Like, not dumb, but I just... It, it just didn't live up to my expectations. It was kind of boring. I didn't get the, I didn't like the characters or the friendships or anything like that. Um, I was really disappointed in some of the friendships that took place in this too. Um, and I'm a really big fan of loyalty too when it comes to friendships and just like character bonds in general. And I just felt like that wasn't in here at all. And I just, I don't know. Like the one per the only person that was like w like had befriended her like originally he like turned out to be i think he was asexual and when people found out about her brother they like of course were like 
being mean to her, basically assuming that she was the same way, all this kind of stuff, of course, the prejudice of people's minds. And instead of, like, being there for her, he immediately was just like, I can't be friends with you because I don't want to be outed or anything like that, and I don't want people to find out, like, about me. And, like, I, I, I get it. Like, I, I understood where he was coming from, but again, my biggest thing is loyalty. <laughs> so I was really just put off by the fact that he just ditched her. And then at the end of the story, instead of like, like he came, he did come back and he apologized and stuff, but instead of like him kind of being like, oh, like we can hang out. Like they were, she was just like, oh, we still go out. We just hang out out of the town limits. And I'm like, what? <laughs> And I just, I felt really unsettled with that, and I didn't like it at all. Again, like, I understood why he did it, and I definitely didn't want him to be, like, outed or anything like that, or bullied or anything. I also think, like, if the author was gonna set him up as her only friend, like, I don't know. I just, just was not a big, big fan. The next book I have is Love Me, Love Me Not by SM Coase. I was so excited when I read the synopsis, and I was waiting for it to come out, and then I bought it. And then I was so angry <laughs> reading this because I was pissed off. The main character, the love interest, just pissed me the frick off because, of course, men, ugh, of course, not all men, but the men in this book. <laughs> I was so angry. So, like, and I'm just going to spoil it because you definitely don't want to read this. I'm just going to say it now. Just don't read this. Um... So the girl, like, she moves in with this new foster family and the brother... Uh, just, just, there's so much wrong. This, the, this family son, like, basically fell in love with her at first sight and was pressuring her to be in this relationship with him. And she kept saying, no, I don't want to be kicked out. No, your parents are going to kick me out if they find out. No this and no that. And he was like, I won't let them kick you out. Like, it's fine. Like, we need to just embrace this relationship. Whatever. So then her ex-boyfriend comes and he basically, like, robs them. But, like... It's, it, he, I think he makes it look like she helped him when she didn't, and instead of taking her side or listening to her or trying to understand, the boyfriend immediately just was just like, I can't believe you did this, and basically like shut her out, and then what did the parents do? They kicked her out, and what did he do? He let them kick her out. So then, like, that was like, that was like, the peak of my anger like I was mad I was like you literally did all this the entire book and you promised all the like all of this stuff and then you just didn't follow through and then when she was in the foster home or like the the group home he kept emailing her demanding that she needs to talk to him she needs to forgive him like she needs to understand where he's coming from and I was like no she doesn't need to do anything because you messed up, dude, and you, and you didn't even apologize. You're just demanding that she needs to do all these things for you when you didn't do crap for her. Like, no. Okay. Again, loyalty is my biggest thing in life, and that just... No. And then... Oh, and then it made it, it made it worse, because then, um she... I think she went to go see her social worker, and the family, like, showed up out of the blue, and basically, like... They were in front of an audience because they were doing a Q&A for like future foster families and stuff and the family basically blindsided her in front of everybody and was like, will you come back to us? Like, we didn't mean it, blah, blah, not like did it in front of people so she couldn't say no in front of them. She, they blindsided her because they weren't even supposed to be there and it was just a whole thing and I was just really upset with like the whole consensual and it, it's just a thing. Just don't read this basically it was uh, so bad so so bad okay this is the last one, book I think like I'm getting like heated talking about these books and I just I don't want to be so the last book I have is Cracked Up to be by Courtney Summers which I was so shocked about like how badly this was written I just did not like it um compared to like Sadie which is interesting because I think this was Courtney Summers first book so like not that I'm comparing it to Sadie but like I liked Sadie a lot more than this <laughs> I this one was hard because I didn't like the character like the main character was just not likable at all like I know like the she was written so you would feel sympathy for her but I couldn't feel it at all I just felt like she was an, an entitled stuck up b-word basically like she just I just didn't understand she was just mean like straight up mean and she like 
I continuing on so um it's about this girl who basically like she was like the the perfectionist she like had to have straight A's was on the cheerleading team cheerleading captain blah blah, blah. then something happens one night and she lets all of that slide she basically becomes an alcoholic she basically like just stops caring about school and her life and her friends and all this kind of stuff and I just this book was a wee the way they described it was weird because it sounded like oh this guy comes in and he makes her realize that blah blah like you know like that stereotype where like the guy comes in and the girl realizes that she like deserves to be forgiven or whatever for whatever happened essentially and that didn't I feel like that didn't even really happen in this honestly I feel like he had no purpose <laughs> he was kind of just there as a punching bag like she was so mean to him and I was like and he just he still liked her that was the crazy part like I was like dude she is awful to you and you still like her like you might want to figure something else out because she's not coming around but also like the thing is like people were enabling her they weren't even like trying to stop it like her parents were just like hoping she would get better without even really trying to like figure anything out they bought her a dog because they were like oh she'll like come back to us and like connect again with us and I'm like no that's not how that works you need to talk to her like you didn't even try to talk to her about what was going on about what was wrong like you guys just kind of assumed that she would come back like no and then her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend and then the the one girl that was like her front of me like they just enabled her too they didn't really help and then when like she like spiraled they would just be like oh you're a bitch and just assume it was her being a, a mean, mean and annoying and it was like okay and then her teachers and her counselors just wanted to kick her out so I was like so nobody really tried to help her in this story at all even the guy like the new guy that was supposed to be kind of like a love interest he wasn't helping her either he was only interested he was only there because he was interested in her he never even really tried to learn what was wrong honestly in my opinion it just didn't seem like it it seemed like he would like everybody had their own selfish reasons on why like they would wanted her to get better I guess if that makes sense so I like wasn't sure what the big thing was and I was thinking oh like it's not like it's probably just something like whatever and I we get to the thing so her and I'm, I'm gonna spoil it now so if you don't want to listen on then I'm stopping the video after this so have a good new year whatever so the big thing that happened was that so she had she basically got into a, a fight with her best friend at a party and then after that she got like uber wasted and she walked in on well she was outside so she she walked up on basically her best friend being sexually assaulted and then like blacked out because she was drunk and so when um her boyfriend found her she tried to tell him like she was like something's wrong and he was like oh you're just drunk and basically brushed it off and made her go inside and then the next day her best friend goes missing and so i like i found this out and then i was like okay so obviously like she told somebody what happened so then she did it she just kept it to herself like, she didn't tell anybody, she didn't try to tell anybody else what happened or anything about the guys that she saw with her best friend. She just was like, oh, she ran away. Like, she just let them assume that she didn't have any idea. And then she, like, had a breakdown later in the book because she was like, I didn't tell anybody, or, like, whatever. Instead of being like, oh, like, you definitely should have told or, like, had a conversation, they were like, oh, it's okay, it wouldn't have changed anything. And I'm like, uh, yeah you don't know that like if she had said something they probably could have found her sooner i'm not saying she would have been alive but they would have found her probably sooner or at least they could have found the boys that did this like so confused so yeah i just didn't like that i didn't like how this story was didn't like the main character didn't like i just didn't like anything about it basically so definitely recommend reading sadie over this uh like i think what she did in Sadie was so much better than what she tried to do in this story, basically. Alright, so those are my disappointing reads of 2019. Uh, if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments on any of the books I talked about, please uh, comment them down below. <laughs> uh, please also comment a disappointing read that you had in the year of 2019 as well. If you are not 
good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an em emoji down below. I'm still in the idea for my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Thank you.